Okay, back again. Uh, just after some thought this morning about the uh, process that I did last night for testing the uh, laser collimations, actual collimation in the scope last night, I started to wonder if uh, perhaps that the actual focus mount's alignment itself was slightly off, because if so, then that would have given me um, a turning circle on the laser beam regardless. Of whether it was perfectly collimated or not. So what I've done here is uh, just used a little book label and I drew on some dot patterns just to uh, highlight any movements. So and uh, using a bit of cardboard I uh, cut out some channels to put the laser collimator in and to uh, try and eliminate any movement of wedged it in between my uh, table that separates here. So uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is move it as gently as I can. It probably will be a little bit of wobble, but um, if there is any form of misalignment, this should show it fairly well. And uh, of course, now I cannot get this to Let's try this this way, if we can. That's looking better. There. Hopefully, we can get this to stay in focus. So, I will try and minimize movement as much as I can. And we've started in the middle dot, um, just so that I can lift it off. You can see that there is a middle dot there, which um, I can get that back on there. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rotating the collimators two inch tube uh, cl clockwise. Oh, sorry, I've got some movement there. Yeah, I'm just Doing this practice run just to make sure I'm eliminating any of my accidental movements and motions. Now I can see already that there is actually a, a bad collimation, but because there seemed to be some initial movement, I'm just going to move this stencil to here. And now let's try this. No, now it wants to go back. There we go. So I'm just doing small uh, little movements with the fingers and letting go. That's why there's some slight movement. You see I've done a full rotation. We're back to the central dot and you can see I'll do it one more time. So it starts moving out to the left then moving up and let's move over the halfway of rotation here and then we're coming back around. Yeah. And then I'm almost done with my full rotation and there we go and we're back to where we were. So I think that clearly shows that the uh, collimator itself isn't factory aligned properly. Um, of course I could try and do it myself but um, I have no experience in doing so and I'd be worried that I would over tighten or loosen the uh, Allen key nuts too much or too little and make the whole thing worse. So um, if need be I'll let Flo have a look at this and Hopefully, uh, this process has shown uh, that it is not aligned properly. And that was a good demonstration there. That went very smooth. And just do it one more time. There we go. Okay. I think that will do it.